Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I will not pretend to be any kind of expert on GIMP, but GIMP is free. We like free. Everybody likes free. And there's some really cool stuff uh, that you can do with GIMP. And I want to show you one of those things, which is right here. Uh, take a look at um, layer. Uh, no, was that it? Is it layer? Yes, layer transform. No. Transparency. There it is. Transparency. Okay, layer transparency. Add alpha channel. And now when we delete, we should delete right down to the channel or right right down to the negative, which is what we want, at least what I want. And I'm going to bump up the size of this and of course there's much cleaner ways of doing this but I'm just going to use my mouse and erase all of this there is of course this tool let's see if we can well that's not what I want I don't know what that does why is that doing that um, but again just so you can you know quick and dirty you can get your uh, alpha layer which will make this background PN, um, which will make it uh, transparent so when you save it to PNG it will be transparent uh, let's try this tool right here let's try that that looks like it's gonna work we go around and around and around. And get this little crab guy out. And I'll just cut this out now to see if it's going to work. And I'm just rough roughing at this point. You can tell, like I said, I don't necessarily claim to be a GIMP expert. All right, so now, um, how do we crop that? Invert? No. Uh, from path. Okay, now let's invert it. And now we should be able to delete, bingo, and we have a very quick and dirty um, uh, transform to transparency. Let's file save this, file save, and while we're here we'll go ahead and oh, cancel, file save as PNG, because PNG handles transparencies. PNG, that should work. And I'm going to say it's just load defaults. I'm not going to worry about it too much. There's my crab now. Let's go ahead and scrunch this, scale the image down. And uh, I don't know how to do this automatically. Um, so I'm just going to do it, I don't know how to do it uh, with the mouse, so I'm going to do it through the numbers. And let's make the, uh, let's make it uh, 50. 50. Oh, they should, okay, good. Scale. Alright. Oh, control Z that and control D. Now. Hopefully that should deselect. No, it didn't. Made a duplicate. All right, select none. The path is still there. Um, let's close that. Don't save. Ah. Um, edit. All right, so 
I guess that's it. We can... how do we zoom in? See, I told you I don't know anything about GIMP, but I did just did crop an image. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay, I held down the control key and, and I just rolled the mouse. Now, there it is. There's our image scaled way down. It's ugly, but uh, c'est la vie. So, save that and... Well, that's a um, quick and dirty tutorial on pathing, uh, alpha channels, and scaling for complete <laughs> know-nothing like me. Thanks for watching, and if you do know anything about GIMP, uh, do make some more uh, videos for it. Khan Academy, MIT, uh, lots of universities all around the world are doing it. You should be doing it, too. Thanks, and happy computing.